and it accelerates protons around in a circle. Uh, both ways, that one, one beam goes one way, one goes the other way. And they go around 11,000 times a second. So that's the very close to the speed of light. 99.999999% the speed of light. In a world shrouded in mystery and guarded secrets, a revelation has emerged from the shadows, shaking the very foundation of our understanding. Brian Cox just unlocked the secret that no one was supposed to know. This daring exploration into the unknown has unveiled truths hidden for centuries. From the enigmatic workings of black holes to the cryptic nature of dark matter, Cox's journey into the cosmic depths has laid bare secrets that challenge our very perception of reality, promising a future where the universe's deepest mysteries are no longer beyond our grasp. Imagine the scientists at CERN standing at the edge of what we know about the universe, filled with excitement and a bit of fear. They use the biggest and strongest particle accelerator in the world to explore the secrets of space. This massive machine, called the Large Hadron Collider, is a huge circle that goes across the border of France and Switzerland. It shows how ambitious people are, pushing the boundaries of what we understand about science. Brian Cox has made the science world buzz with news of a strange, unexplainable finding at CERN in an event that sounds like it's straight out of a science fiction book. During an experiment that was more powerful than ever before, the scientists found something unexpected that could have come from the unknown parts of space. This finding has people talking about tiny black holes and wondering if it has something to do with the mysterious Mandela effect. Even the smartest experts are confused by this discovery, trying to figure out what it means for our understanding of the universe. Underneath Europe's peaceful scenery is the Large Hadron Collider, a giant example of what smart people can build. It's a huge ring, 17 miles around, made with incredibly strong superconducting magnets. It's designed to smash particles into each other at almost the speed of light. This huge machine has not only shown us more about the basics of our world, but has also led to amazing discoveries, like the Higgs boson, which people sometimes call the God particle. Finding this particle was a big deal because it was the missing piece in a puzzle for scientists, a win that's celebrated all over the science world. The story of the Large Hadron Collider is about more than just finding new particles, it's about humanity's bold effort to recreate the very beginning of the universe, right after the Big Bang. By smashing particles together at incredible speeds, this giant machine lets us peek into the universe's early moments, almost like a time machine. After the destruction of World War II, a group of visionary scientists imagined a place where knowledge and cooperation could shine. This dream led to the creation of CERN, not just a lab, but a symbol of hope and a proof that people can work together for something great. Since it started in 1954, CERN has grown from a dream born out of the war to a leading force in particle physics, bringing together some of the brightest minds from around the world. The Large Hadron Collider, the pride of CERN, shows how much the organization has evolved and its key role in changing the theories of physics and our understanding of the physical world. From a small group of countries, CERN has grown into a huge partnership, leading the way in physics discoveries, from finding new particles to creating technologies that reach beyond just physics. The Large Hadron Collider works thanks to its superconducting magnets, which are much more advanced than any fridge magnet or the cooling systems we have at home. These thousands of magnets bend and squeeze tiny particles, making it more likely for them to crash into each other and maybe reveal the secrets of the universe. This complex dance of particles, done by the most complicated machine ever made, is the peak of our scientific dreams, showing our ongoing effort to understand the very fabric of reality itself. In the fascinating world of particle physics, where scientists push the limits of what we know and explore the very essence of the universe, the Large Hadron Collider is a towering example of human curiosity and perhaps our overconfidence. Tucked away in its huge and very cold surroundings, the LHC works under conditions that are hard to imagine. It uses superconducting magnets that are pushed close together to make it more likely that particles will collide. These magnets are not ordinary ones, They can carry electricity without any loss, a feature that is incredibly impressive, especially because it's needed due to the extreme cold they work in. Temperatures dive down to an astonishing negative 456 degrees Fahrenheit, 
which is even colder than outer space. You might wonder, why do these magnets need to be in such an intensely cold state? The reason is their superconducting state allows for a very efficient and precise way of steering particles around the LHC's huge ring at speeds close to that of light. This is a display of scientific ambition, where size, temperature, and magnetic precision come together in an amazing display of engineering and scientific skill, with each part working so well that it's almost easy to overlook the incredible nature of what is being tried. The LHC is not just an incredible piece of technology, but also a ship sailing the unknown seas of the universe. Able to uncover secrets from the cosmos that might completely change our understanding of everything. Recent discoveries, led by people like Brian Cox, a former researcher at CERN who has become a well-known science communicator, mark a new chapter in physics. Cox, who has a talent for making deep scientific concepts seem accessible, recently shared a discovery that has excited the scientific world. This discovery is the replication of conditions similar to those of the Big Bang within the LHC, an act that could be seen as very risky considering the cosmic implications. However, this story also has a darker side, filled with skepticism that often follows ventures into the unknown. The thrill of these scientific breakthroughs is accompanied by a wave of fear, worrying that we may be moving too quickly. Cox expressed concerns, reflecting a wider fear about the risks these experiments might bring. Diving into the basic elements of the universe is not a simple task. It's like searching blindly for a light switch, not knowing there might be a cliff just one step ahead. The LHC, despite its accuracy and possibilities, works on the edge of the unknown, where the excitement of discovery always comes with the fear of what might go wrong. The story of Anatoly Bogorsky, the Russian scientist who accidentally got a close-up view of a particle accelerator and survived, serves as a vivid warning about the dangers of overreaching in science. His experience reminds us that, although most scientists believe these experiments are safe, the world of groundbreaking science is full of risks, some known and some hidden. It's a delicate balance between unveiling the secrets of the universe and risking too much. A dance between understanding and fear of the unknown. In this quest, the LHC is more than just a device for discovery. It's a reflection of our boldness, showing how far we are willing to go to solve the mysteries of the cosmos, even as we stand on the edge of the unknown, looking into the dark with feelings of fear, wonder, and an unending desire to know more. In the dimly lit hallways of scientific progress, Filled with the noise of groundbreaking machines such as the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, there is a story unfolding that seems like it's straight out of a science fiction book. The LHC stands as a testament to what humans can achieve, pushing particles together with incredible force that both amazes and scares us. In these moments where particles crash into each other with great energy, we find ourselves on the fine line between making incredible discoveries and perhaps accidentally releasing forces we might not be able to handle. This situation isn't just a matter for academic debate, it feels like a real nightmare for those who look too deeply into what we don't understand yet. One of the spooky outcomes that scientists talk about is the chance of making tiny black holes right here on our planet. Imagine that. Black holes those intense forces in space that swallow everything, even light, could potentially appear on Earth. Those scientists reassure us that if these were ever created, they'd likely disappear quickly due to something called Hawking radiation before we could even share the news. The thought alone is quite unsettling. It feels like we're walking a tightrope between making exciting discoveries and the risk of starting something we can't stop. How the scientific world responds to these possible findings is a mix of excitement and worry. There's a lively curiosity about what these experiments could reveal about the universe, balanced with a serious understanding that we might be poking around in things that are better left alone. Scholars and researchers are buzzing with talk, guessing and marveling over what might be announced next. The atmosphere is charged with the hope of learning something new, but also weighted with the sense of duty and the fear of stepping into the unknown. Let's talk about the Mandela Effect, which is a really interesting situation where it seems like a lot of people remember things happening that actually didn't. This is named after Nelson Mandela because a lot of people thought he died in prison a long time ago before he really passed away. This idea makes our world seem even more mysterious and interesting. 
Some people think that the experiments done by CERN could be causing some weird changes in our world, like creating connections to other worlds that are similar but different from ours. They wonder if maybe we are living in just one of many possible worlds and somehow CERN is unlocking the doors to these other places without even realizing it. This whole idea starts with something called string theory. This is a really complicated but also very fascinating idea about what the smallest things in our universe are like. Instead of thinking everything is made up of tiny balls or particles, string theory suggests everything is made up of tiny vibrating strings. Imagine the universe like a huge musical performance, where each of these strings is playing its own note, all together making up everything around us. This theory also suggests there are more places or dimensions than we can see, places where whole other universes might be hiding. It's like thinking about our universe as one layer in a giant cosmic cake, with these other layers or dimensions all around us, but we just can't see or touch them. The attraction of string theory and its potential to help us understand our universe is incredibly significant. It acts like a light in the darkness for those who desperately want to solve the mysteries of the universe, giving us a peek into a world that's much more complex and amazing than we could ever think possible. However, it also reminds us of what we can't do yet, making us feel humble during our scientific journey by pointing out there are parts of the universe that we still don't understand, secrets that are still hidden from us. As we find ourselves on the edge of potentially huge discoveries, the feeling of excitement is very strong, but so is the sense of caution. The journey of scientific exploration is full of uncertainties, and as we dig deeper into the essence of the universe, we need to be very careful, aware of the unexpected consequences we might trigger. The search for knowledge is indeed a high and noble pursuit, but it comes with a big responsibility of using that knowledge in a good way to avoid causing problems we aren't ready to deal with. In this huge puzzle of the cosmos, every new discovery brings us a bit closer to understanding the big picture, but it also makes us more aware of the large unknowns that are still just out of our reach, reminding us how much more there is to learn. Inside the sacred but often hard to understand corridors of scientific study, especially at the esteemed place known as CERN, there's a rather bold attempt to grasp the basics of our universe. Within this noble endeavor, the idea of hidden dimensions really stands out. It's not just because it's a daring idea, but also because it aims so high, it almost seems silly. Imagine this. We live in a world where gravity affects everything we do, yet understanding this fundamental force completely baffles us. And now, there are some scientists suggesting that what we know about gravity might just be the tip of the iceberg. Gravity has this mysterious power to hold galaxies together, even though it's considered the weakest force in the universe. It's a powerful force on a large scale, but acts so subtly on a smaller scale that even the smartest people find it confusing. Then comes the bold idea that the reason gravity seems so weak might not be a mistake, but a clue. This clue could point to the existence of other places beyond what we can see or feel. This isn't just a story made up for entertainment, it's a real scientific investigation into what might be the foundation of our universe. Imagine our universe as a layered cake, and we're only living on one layer, completely unaware of the layers above or below us. The attempt to uncover these hidden layers doubles the excitement and curiosity in the scientific community. Let's imagine that our universe is much more complicated than just a space with height, width, and depth. Think of it as a big, intricate structure with secret layers that we can't see because they're all twisted and folded in ways that hide them from us. There's an idea floating around that gravity, which seems weaker than it should be, might actually be slipping away into these invisible layers. This is where the Large Hadron Collider, a very important and impressive machine at CERN, comes into play. It acts like a super powerful magnifying glass for the universe, zooming in on the tiniest parts of our world in hopes of finding proof that these hidden layers really exist. If we manage to find these hidden dimensions, it's not just going to be a small update in our science books. No, it would change the whole game of physics as we know it. It's like discovering a secret room in a house you've lived in all your life but never knew was there. Such a discovery would shake up our understanding of the universe, making us realize there's so much more to it than we ever imagined. It would show us that what we see and experience is just a tiny part of a much larger, more mysterious world. Why limit ourselves to the idea of unseen dimensions? The goals of CERN reach even further into the complex world of quantum physics. 
Here we encounter a puzzling idea called entanglement, which really shakes up how we think about connections and cause and effect. Quantum entanglement is this curious situation where two particles behave as mirrors to each other's conditions, no matter how far apart they are. This happens instantly, showing us a world that's much more connected than we previously thought. Imagine having two magical dice that, even if they're in completely different places, always show the same number when rolled. By smashing particles together in the Large Hadron Collider, researchers hope to delve deeper into this strange quantum behavior. They believe it might reveal new truths that could change our understanding of space, time, and maybe even the basic structure of everything that exists. Meanwhile, gravity, the force that keeps us from floating off into space, might also be the clue to discovering new worlds beyond our own. The mission to figure out these forces, led by the determined folks at CERN, is as challenging as it is filled with possibilities. It's like venturing into the core of what powers our universe, a journey that's marked by both genius and overconfidence. But this ongoing search for knowledge is more than just a scientific task. It's a deeply human one. It represents our drive to not only unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, but also understand our role in it. This adventure, despite its scientific complexity, is ultimately about our collective curiosity and our quest to make sense of the world around us. A journey that, at its heart, explores what it means to be human. Ah, the grand experiments unfolding at CERN, where scientists play with the very threads of reality, hint at the possibility that the tapestry of space and time might be far more complex than our simple minds have dared to imagine. Here, in these high-tech catacombs, researchers probe the ether, suggesting, rather provocatively, that our universe might be but a single thread in a vast cosmic fabric, with hidden dimensions lurking just beyond the reach of our perception. Quantum entanglement, a concept as elusive as a shadow at midnight, is no longer just a fodder for science fiction, it's becoming a tangible key, held in the trembling hands of CERN scientists, poised to unlock mysteries that have teased the edges of human understanding for eons. Yet, let's not be too quick to canonize these modern alchemists. While their quest is noble, the narrative is as much about human ambition as it is about scientific discovery. The pursuit of knowledge at CERN transcends the mere unraveling of the universe's mysteries. It's a testament to our species' relentless drive to push beyond the known, to explore not just for the sake of discovery, but for the practical applications that often follow in science's wake. Consider, for a moment, the positron emission tomography scans, a marvel of medical technology birthed from the same womb of inquiry that seeks to understand the cosmos. These machines, now a cornerstone in the battle against maladies like cancer, epitomize the serendipitous fallout of high-level scientific research, transforming the arcane into the life-saving. The most incredible thing CERN has accidentally given the world is undoubtedly the World Wide Web. This idea, thought up by Tim Berners-Lee in the late 1980s, was initially just a way for scientists to share information with each other. However, what started as a project at CERN has grown into the huge digital platform that shapes how we live today. The internet has changed every part of our lives, turning everything from small daily tasks to big life events completely digital. It has become a place where any information we could want is just a few clicks away. This change is so big and so deeply part of our everyday routines that trying to picture life without the internet feels like imagining the night sky without any stars. How do you feel about the ethical implications and challenges of CERN's quest for scientific discovery? Share your thoughts, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more.